I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot snow one sparks all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, you are here. Gore, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful. But the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Kumindomo. Watch your backs. I won't for subtly, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. <laughs> Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city camera. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it.
Fucking worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. Till tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, Mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to you double the amount that. of our active flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has he eliminated the last obstacle between of himself the and the complete power. Of the NUSA they and surrendered it to him. Tell me that. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. So. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato, support Michiko-sama, Saburo's granddaughter. I know a little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. 
Not to mention even small affections. Well, tell me about them some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept the son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinov returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinov from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events, Conscience could also come into play, assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this.
footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes in the comm system. There's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Armored door, sealed tight. So, we must be aware of the mech. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we going in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. A back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slab. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess. 
So they could turn him into Corbo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety... Cheap 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes. But we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compeq, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck get, get worse. worse! You do not look so bad.
I'll be in touch. The diverter reaction. That is mine. Who will take care of my mama?
have made a cock up. Arasaka reinforcements are here. Security systems. Excellent. I am also making progress. Drop your weapon and show yourself! How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick.
told Sarge to do with us was please. Fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Turbo kills. Even the room is slowly. Hey, that roof! That is your will! There are buildings along. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. V, you must hurry! I'm out of Saka if we approach it! Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Have time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. We got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. She's not with us. Got a delta. Why won't we hands up the First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maida. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces. If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? 
Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. client wishes to free another man of his earthly possessions. More specifically, need you to swipe Kerry Uradine's guitar. The job is simple, the reward high. More intel attached. I'll be waiting. Quick deliver. 
Doesn't matter how much. You coming? Fuck yeah! Yeah, 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 I could scratch. Upstairs. I passed by a second ago, eardrums almost burst. What, some kind of party? He wishes. That's Slayton's unit. Guy's obsessed with just one shitty band. Like, plays it non-stop, full blast. I, I mean, even when he isn't here. You know what's the worst, though? When he comes down and starts babbling okay. on... Okay, what do you want? This, Eurodyne, that, for hours on end. Literally. I'm telling you, this guy's got a problem. Well, of course. Well, well, I have to appreciate the man's taste in both music and liquor. But what I don't get, I mean, why the fixation on Carrie? Never forget this. Line was longer than from here to Plymouth Rock. After party lasted two nights straight. And ended in the drunk tank? Huh. Interesting. Fuck. Carrie's an old geezer now. When was this still taken? Not long ago. Look. The date. And the guitar we came for. Look here, the safe room, numeric keypad. Shit, V, it's the date on that still with the guitar. You think our buddy Slayton would be that gunk? Well, since he was Carrie's fan, then yeah, damn sure of it.
That's what I'd do. the area. I lost contact with the Delamain Network vehicle NCPD subcons. Suspected we'll organized crime activity reported on Skyline South. Group of the Valentinos led by Zoe oh, Alonzo God, at large. The record includes armed robbery, extortion, kidnapping, and first-degree murder. Night City authorities offering a reward for neutralizing Alonzo's criminal oh. network.
madre! ¡Nos están aniquilando! we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Have you come to finish me off? No. Just here to reset you. I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa, whoa easy, easy. Not out to hurt you. But I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold, rejoin the network. You know, one big, happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think. The world gets you down. Let's see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. You ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred.
at the moment. A 6-3 car. Start running if I was you. He said this baby's untraceable. The whole thing's basically swapped out.
really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Six Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand... Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. Good deeds are always repaid in kind. Closing the contract. Until next time. No, Romantic war! Sick of getting romantic war! 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 Romantic war